Hi everyone, Creighton Webb with SunWest Communications. We're continuing our conversation with Melissa Cameron, the new Senior Counsel of Corporate Social Responsibility and Philanthropic Services at SunWest. As we said, quite a mouthful. You have amazing expertise in this space. Um, and of course, we talk a lot about our, to our clients about the, the reputation economy, the third mm. bottom line, that the best companies with the strongest brands are giving back, not just because they're writing a check, but because right. they want to be good corporate citizens and help solve some of society's greatest problems. Yeah. You have a lot of expertise with your background in Dallas Area Habitat for Humanity, the American Heart Association. Uh, what are your predictions for 2020 as to what we're going to see in philanthropy as well as corporate citizenship? I think that's a great question. I think a lot of it is a carryover from what we saw in 2019. I mean, I think there's some real basics. Um, tr transparency on both sides of the house, both in CSR, uh, which is defined measurable outcomes for your investment in the community, and then for nonprofits, which you know sometimes get a bad rap for how are you spending our money, making sure that uh, you have your report card and you're able to define what it is that you're doing with your donor dollars mm -hmm. and transparency. Sustainability, right? How are we ensuring that um, we as a nonprofit are sustaining the work that we're doing through our revenue generation. And then I think for, for companies, what I have noticed is that this notion of multi-year giving is actually on the increase. So we want to be able to invest in a program, uh, help you define your outcomes, utilizing some of our professional services. Uh, and that may be over a course of three years. And, and I think 10 years ago, the, uh, companies were less likely to do that, that type of uh, forward thinking. Yeah, you'd see a lot of companies, uh, as a, a former CFO that I used to work with, called it sprinkling bits of yes. goodness throughout the community. Right. So they had a lot of breadth, but no depth. And they right. weren't identified with helping solve one significant right. problem. If you had any advice, to give either on the corporate side or to the nonprofit side for 2020, what would it be? Well, I think retention on both sides is, is dire. Um, and I think that corporate social responsibility certainly has proven uh, to be a, a retention uh, driver, especially as we, we hear from millennials how much that they want to know the reputation of the company that they're working for and spending all their time with uh, is, um, is one that is giving back to the community. And then retention in terms of nonprofits is how do you solve this brain drain, if you will, of, of nonprofit executives and, and fundraisers? And you, you have to do that by caring and embracing and engaging your staff and listening to what it is that they want. Tell us a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing chief development officers leave in droves. Is that the observation? Oh, absolutely. I think if you, you picked up any of the philanthropic uh, magazines or if you were to ask the cadre of non successful nonprofits, even in, in this community, you would see that there seems to be a turnstile um, at that uh, fund, especially about fundraisers. And what I would say is, uh, the board needs to get involved, um, our donors, whether it's corporations, individuals, foundations, uh, coming underneath that, that executive uh, with a plan. First of all, having a plan, right? Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, engaging that plan and it being really attainable mm -hmm. and having that uh, frame of, of what is the next step? What, is, what are the tactics we're going to do? Not just have a strategic plan and you've seen them, they just go sit, sit on a shelf. But how are we activating that plan in order to deliver the results? So it's really helping to support and uh, owning the function across the organization. Uh, lastly, uh, certainly SunWest has clients outside of Texas. Do you see the phenomenon that mm. you've just described as, as, as going beyond the Lone Star State? We, we uh, did a blog not long ago about 2020 being the year of the worker, yes. right? That we see more, con uh, more laws being passed that make it easier for people to have paid leave, uh, increasing right. the minimum wage. It's harder to get earned media now. Mm. So companies are talking more about their corporate social responsibility platforms and how they treat their employees. Does, yeah. does what you've just described uh, go oh, beyond the borders no, of Texas? No question. I, I mean, I think if you, you uh, pick up Forbes, pick up uh, Philanthropy Magazine, there it does, doesn't matter what side of the house, you're seeing not only are executives now being measured, right? We're seeing CEOs of Fortune 500 companies uh, being incentivized around their corporate social responsibility. It's that important to retaining a workforce. And then for, for nonprofits as well, being able to be flexible, that flex time. And, if you're going to do an employee survey, you need to listen to the results. Yeah. So at the end of the day, how do some of our nation's most important and biggest companies help mm. solve some of our most important problems? As one of, as one of my former CEOs once said, 
uh, we can't give any money away unless we're making money, but right. they go hand right. in hand, right, yeah. with the reputation economy. Right. But with change, you need, you need money. Right, and then the question is, is how do the philanthropies fulfill the promises right. and take that money and actually solve the problems Absolutely. with them. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And that's what we're talking about at SunWest. And thanks to Melissa's presence, along with the rest of the Corporate Social Responsibility and Philanthropic Services team, we're able to have those conversations with both corporations and philanthropy. So thank you for joining us, Melissa. Yep. Really excited to have you be part of the family, be part of the team. Thank you. And know we're going to do great things together. And thank yep. you for joining us. A little more than two minutes at SunWest today, <laughs> uh, but, but, a, but a great person to talk to and a lot of great advice. We'll see you next time. Thanks.